Oh, that is a bit deep there. I'm just gonna go for it, mate. Yeah. That's all you can do, innit? Yeah, you can uh, uh, On a cold, windy, wet British morning, when you turn the news on in the morning and all you see is doom and gloom, what options really do you have left to do? Well, in my opinion, there's only one. And that's to go on the hunt for some old English churches. The first church, which brings us on to the subject of today's video, is the St. George's Anglican Church that was founded in and around the Norman Conquest around 1066. And there we are, just in the distance, over this rather opulent brick wall here. We can see a little church spire. And I believe it is at this church that if you walk in to a certain part of it, you can see some of the old stonework that is remnants here from the Norman invasion around 1066. Anyone remember that particular advert on TV? 0800 00 1066. Fantastic piece of marketing. Wow. Look at that beautiful stained glass. What's this say on here? I can't read that. No. That is old, we're talking hundreds of years old. Looks like there once was writing on these little tombstones here. Ooh, what's that at the top there? Like a little, a little watchtower or something. Anyone leave a comment, tell me what those little spires used to be used for. Looks like a, a windmill or a, or a weather or a, yeah like a wind directional weather tool. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm looking at. Someone leave a comment. If anyone knows any particular information on churches, leave a comment below. Tell me what I'm looking at. I'd love to learn a bit of information as I go along these little journeys. Stick around for some more random churches, ladies and gents. And actually, a common sight in the UK over the past few months as we've gone through this national and global pandemic, is these little signs that the young children tend to make. Some of them put them in their house windows for the binmen to come across, the essential workers, thanking the NHS. Sometimes you'll see them chalked on the floor. And we've just seen one there. And it's getting really windy now, ladies and gents. Walking through this open bit of countryside. There's nothing to break up the wind. My hat's only flying off my head. As you can see, flapping around at the back there. We're determined to find these churches, even if it means you find us frozen solid in the middle of a farmer's field, being makeshift scarecrows at some point in the near future. But you'll know from this video log that we were determined to find these churches. <laughs> Our first major obstacle. What's your thoughts? <laughs> I'll just go for it, I guess. Oh, oh God. This isn't as bad as I expected, Dave. Come on to the little island with me. That's the way to go. Right, okay. Oh, that is a bit deep there. I'm just gonna go for it, mate. Yeah. That's all you can do, innit? Yeah, you uh, got it. Otherwise, I'm gonna... Whoa! Okay. That one was a, a wet one. Oh. I know what you're planning. <laughs> I won't go any further, mate. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Good man. That's some Olympic sport right there. That's it, go on, Dave. That's, that's about it, mate, I reckon, isn't it? Absolutely so, yeah. <laughs> well, my feet are, they are wet. Okay. They are wet, but they're not as wet as I thought they'd be. I think as it came up to the top of the laces, that's where it started to seep in. But maybe it'll just it'll be a lovely addition to this walk. A bit, of wet, so, bit yeah. of wet feet, why not? What about your feet? They're not bad. Okay. These are Gore-Tex, so they're quite dry. That's all right, then. Ha, ha, ha. 
That's a rather big obstacle there for you, Dave. <laughs> what the hell's that doing there? There was obviously a fence there at some point. <laughs> yeah. And here we are in Longdon on Turn at St. Bartholomew's Church at the crescendo of our little journey. Let's go and have a little explore, shall we? And see what we can see. Now the churches that we've explored today in today's video are not the usual churches that you tend to hear of in and around Shrewsbury and Shropshire. They're well off the beaten track into the rural countryside of these little, really little villages. Some of them you can't even call a village. I mean, Longdon on Turn that we've just walked through, there may have been one or two houses I can imagine the settlements years gone by would have been much larger than they are today. But just ahead of me now, and actually, in fact, lovely little addition to this walk that was unexpected, just over my right shoulder, there's a beautiful little farmhouse. Look at that. And a little dog on the doorway waiting to be let in. But let's check out St. Bartholomew, shall we? And I'll just show you ahead of me at the church now. You have to lift the gate, maybe. Oh no, it's just a bit stubborn. Oh, the dogs found me. The guard dogs are on the loose. Let's bring that back. Okay, we're in. We're in. Success. With a little ancient doorway there. And some beautiful stained glass above, just below the tower there. I see that on a lot of churches. Must be, it's got to be a bell tower, isn't it? Oh wow, there's some lovely grounds at the back of this church. And some rather nice decorative stained glass. Let's see if we can see any murals and depictions on these pieces of glass. Here we go. All of those are just little different colors of green, but we've actually got a lovely little picture here. That's got to be a particularly old piece of glass. Probably the oldest piece of glass on this building, I can only assume. And just before I sign off on this video, I wanted to say a big shout out and thank you to the channel members who I'll leave a card up here of all their names, who have decided to contribute to the channel on a monthly basis. It really helps me out and helps me do these little journeys, pay for different bits of kit, my editing subscription with Adobe, so thank you very much. And everybody else who subscribes to the channel, who supports, likes, shares, subscribes, comments, um, it all means a hell of a lot. And I appreciate all your support for these difficult times, but I'm gonna part ways with you at St. Bartholomew's Church in Longdon on Turn. Hopefully you join me for the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.